Last night, while you were sound asleep, so was the rest of the animal kingdom. Ostriches sleep, platypuses sleep, fish sleep, flies sleep. But for something so routine and universal, sleep is actually pretty mysterious. Why would creatures so regularly enter a state when they are vulnerable to predators or unable to do important things like mating or eating? What is the point of sleep? Scientists have suggested a few solutions to the mystery of sleep. Some think that it evolved to give brains a chance to reset themselves after a full day of learning. Others see it as a way of clearing toxins that accumulate over the course of a day. And yet others think that it evolved to give brains a chance to solidify the memories that they create while we're awake. It's not clear though which of these theories is right, and for all of them, there is an elephant in the room. No, really, there is an actual elephant in the room. As far as we know, African savanna elephants are the lightest sleepers in the animal kingdom. It's actually hard to tell whether elephants are awake or asleep because they can sleep standing up. So researchers Nadine Gravett and Paul Manger had to fit two wild elephants with active watches, devices that can measure whether the wearer is moving or not, which provides clues about whether it's asleep or not. And these devices, implanted in the elephant's trunks, reveal that they sleep for just two hours every night. These are the lightest slumbers ever recorded, and they're not even unbroken. They are spread out over several bursts. And on some nights, the elephants didn't sleep at all, perhaps because they were trying to protect their families from lions or poachers. Now, many of us have pulled all-nighters before, but we suffer for it. And these elephants did not. They never seemed to need to make up for their sleepless nights. So, here's the question. If sleep evolved to help us reset our brains or to clear away toxins or to solidify new memories, then how on earth do elephants, which have huge brains and famously great memories, get by with so little sleep? They probably have as yet unknown adaptations which allow them to cope with so much sleeplessness. And finding out what these are might tell us not only why sleep evolved in the first place, but why animals vary so much in how much sleep they need. Take the sloth. This creature has a reputation for being lazy because of studies of captive animals, but wild sloths sleep for 10 hours a day, not much more than the average college student. The champion snoozer turns out to be the little brown bat, which gets 19 hours of sleep a day. Wild horses sleep for just three hours a day. Dolphins can sleep with one half of their brain at a time while the other half stays alert. By taking turns, dolphins can stay awake for days on end, but still, each half gets around four hours every day. There's a common belief that people slept much more than we do now before modern life ruined everything. But that's not what scientists found when they gave active watches to hunter-gatherers living in Tanzania, Namibia and Bolivia. These people live traditional lifestyles, but they only sleep between 6.9 and 8.5 hours every night, which is not much more than what Westerners get. What all of this research shows is that sleep is really confusing. It is dangerous but necessary. It is universal but diverse. It is routine but mysterious. We are finally waking up to how weird and varied sleep can be. <laughs>